Good morning, Modern Set. It's a nice rainy, snowy mix of day today. It's not very nice out. It's like 33 degrees. We're gonna go milk willow today. We separated north for the first time last night. Let's see how much milk we get. Hi, baby. Ready to get milk, Willow? <laughs> You ready to go back and see Nora? What says, Mom, I want some milk. There you go, Nora. We didn't take it all on you. We saved some for you. There you go. You can finish eating in here. You girls want to get fed? I know, it's raining out, what the heck? Girls ready for breakfast? Here's the dry side. There you go. Enjoy. inside today. I don't blame them. Good morning girls. I don't blame you. I'll feed you inside today. You can have breakfast in bed. Good morning. You want breakfast in bed? There you go. No need to come out except to go to the bathroom today. Look at that. They got a nice little bed made in there. The goats, all their feeders are undercover so they can come out and eat. Right, Zeke? Yeah. You can come out. I'll get you some more hay. You all done eating breakfast already? You boys have got to come out if you want breakfast. You can stay dry under the feeder. There you go. That's your breakfast? Yeah. It looks delicious. There it is. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Come on, Rusty and ladies. There you go. You guys liking your new coop? Chicks are all doing good despite the weather. I love the funky hairdos. All right, we're gonna get him some fresh water. You chickens, you gotta be some of the toughest animals. You're always out waiting here, no matter what the weather is, aren't you? You're always out. You don't care. been working on our greenhouse kit from RimmelGreenhouses.com. But today with the cold, the rain, the wind, and the snow, we're not gonna work on it. I planned on starting the end walls today, but that's not gonna happen. But the other day I did level off the pad. 
I got the pad all leveled off inside and extended it two feet out on the front and the back. Once this weather breaks, we can dig our footing holes for our end walls and get those installed. But today we need to work on our chicken tractors. We built our chicken tractors two years ago and they need some repairs. All right, so we're not gonna be working on the greenhouse today. We need to grab some tools. Grab all of our saws. They were calling for three to five inches of snow last night, so I brought the chicken tractors in the workshop last night so they wouldn't get buried in snow, but luckily we didn't get that much snow. These are our chicken tractors that we built for $30 for each one. We did that two years ago and they've held up really well. The tarps have seen better days. We need to replace the tarps and strengthen up the chicken tractors themselves a little bit. But we're not going with blue tarps this year because we don't like the way they deteriorate. So we're gonna try a different, something different this year. Need to unscrew these tarps, get everything off. So we use like a plastic milk jug for hinges before. We're gonna replace those and then I need to put a brace in the center here. And one of the issues we kept having last year too is every time we'd get heavy rain, the rain would pool up in the center. So I think we're gonna put a two by four in the center just to kind of make like a hip so that the, it has a peak and the rain will roll off and not settle in one spot. our end so they'll fit around our one and three quarter by one and three quarter support. that right up. We got a center support in the center to keep like a peak because last year this kept filling up with water and then it would drip into the bottom and get the chickens wet. We got an inch and a half peak and then now we'll cover this with a tarp.
view on and see how it shuts for us. All right, let's see how it shuts before we go too gung ho. That's good. I just wanted to make sure we weren't too tight. I figure if we go a few layers, at least in the back, it'll give them kind of a windbreak. It'll be a little bit thicker. It'll be like a thermal break.
putting the two by four this way called a strong back. That's really going to sturdy up the chicken tractor. Can't wait to start using these. I'm really impressed with how well these chicken tractors have held up over the years. I'll put a link in the video description down below to the videos of us making them. And we also have a cut list on our website. I'll put a link to that down below also. Tonight we're going to have roasted chicken for supper. I'm really interested in knowing what you're going to be having for supper tonight. So leave a comment down below. Maybe it'll give me some ideas. I mentioned before we don't have many chickens left. So we've been using them sparingly. So for us it's been a while. It's been like two weeks, I think, since we've cooked a chicken. I'm gonna make sure I use it all up. So we do have uh, meat chickens on their way, so they better grow fast so I can get some more in the freezer. If I could only choose one meat to eat at forever, chicken would be the one I, what I'd pick. I don't know about Al and Olivia, but chicken is my favorite. And it's snowing outside, so if it's gonna snow some more this week, I'll probably make it this into a chicken stock, probably tomorrow, and then do some kind of super stew. I do add a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan just to help keep it moist and to help from stuff getting baked on there. We had a viewer comment that I should try to put my, do my sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot. I don't know why I never really thought of it. Um, so I found a couple different recipes online, but one I picked I'll have linked below. Manual 22 minutes and then it's gonna naturally release for 10 minutes. Don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but it's snowing and raining out right now. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Old man winter don't wanna give us a break. Nope. So that chicken's obviously flying now. Yep, this is the chicken that's always getting out. You misses. You're a troublemaker. How many eggs? Mm. Fifteen. Fifteen, all right. I'll say thirteen. One, ooh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 16, and we haven't even gotten to Rusty's yet. Figaro is loving the attention. Bet your Willow and Nora are probably not happy because they had to stay in today. Yeah. Too cold for them. Gotta compost up our tea bags. This compost pile is at 1.30. And I checked that compost pile this morning and that one was at 140. Ha. Getting excited about the compost pile is almost ready. Oh, let's see what Rusty's laid for us. One, two. So 18 eggs today. 18. 18, I like it. When the meat birds come this week, we're gonna kick your egg laying chicks out of the brooder and put them in there. And then we'll have the meat birds and the black cop morans in the brooder. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. It looks like it. I 
think the pigs are sleeping. You guys sleeping? I don't blame you. I'd be sleeping in there too. Is that good stuff or what? Yeah, that's good. Got an itch? You want a little treat, Willow, since you can't go outside today? What are you doing up there? Come over here. There you go. Have a little treat, since we can't go outside today. It's not very nice. Here, Nora. Here. Yeah. You crazy cat. Get on, Mom. She's like, I'm just gonna chew Mom's ear. If I can find Mom's ear, I'm just gonna chew it. She's chewing on it, all right. Because it tastes yummy. We'll give all the goats a flake of hay inside today since it's not very nice out. Enjoy. You boys want to eat some hay inside today? Rusty's loud. There you go. Is that good or what? Enjoy your hay. You're making a mess. mess. You're making a big, big mess. She's like, oh, maybe I can jump up there now. She does, oh. I mean, she does seem like she eats hay well. Is that yummy hay? Is that good, Willow? Like, all right, I'll go back with mom. I'll have some milk. Darn it. Smells good. They are cooked beautifully, although I've never had a sweet potato that wasn't an orange sweet potato, so this is a different um, variety. Just had a little piece that tasted good. Maybe not as sweet as I normally we normally have, but hey, this is what we got. Mm -hmm. Something different. We're excited to try it. Yeah, it looks like you're eating potatoes, but you're really eating sweet potatoes. That's what I'm like. Did I just cook a potato? Yeah, I know. Give up this rest for your so we had quite the discussion over dinner about our sweet potatoes i went to the grocery store last week and i picked up the sweet potatoes and they're the regular red skin ones but they're white inside we've never had sweet potatoes that weren't orange inside they tasted almost the same but so a little bit of research we did on google we didn't see any difference on saying that they were sweet potatoes or what they were so is it just something we've never had before you guys usually have white sweet potatoes i don't know we were just kind of confused by that so leave it in the comments down below let us know what your sweet potatoes normally look like tell you what we are both excited to get our meat birds we're really excited that we got the chicken tractors all fixed up and they're ready to go and have three batches of meat birds on order right now our first batch should be coming in the mail any day now and then we're going to be waiting a little bit we'll get some more and then in the summertime we'll be getting another batch so 
we're gonna be busy up in our chicken production this year last year we did right around 50 chickens for the whole season and it wasn't enough we ran out of chickens I shouldn't say we ran out we still have a few left but we had to cut back on how many chickens we have each week what we like doing is we like cooking up one at least one a week for dinner and then we cook up one and then we have that for sandwiches and different things throughout the week for lunchtime what do you guys do for different lunches to kind of break up your routine leave it in the comments down below hoping that the weather breaks and tomorrow we can get back working on the greenhouse so thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey list guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumina acres yeah.